Have you ever found yourself wanting to take data that you have inside of Airtable and opening it up for an external audience, maybe for a website or a client portal or building a full web application? Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a no-code implementation partner, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools to be able to build as a front-end for Airtable, and that is Softer. Now, if you haven't used Softer before, you can sign up with the affiliate link in the description below. Now, Airtable has certainly come a long ways in the past couple of years in terms of driving more tailored experiences because of the interfaces that you can now build inside of Airtable. But this doesn't really help us in situations where we want to be able to share information with our clients or our prospects, or maybe we have a large workforce of contractors or other external collaborators. So let's talk about how Softer can solve for many of those problems. Right off the bat, you can see there's a number of different templates that we can use right out of the box with Softer. And the part that I really like is I consider these very purpose-driven. So there's other front-end solutions that are out there, and they say, yeah, you can configure anything you want, but it's tricky because they treat every data source like it's agnostic. It doesn't really work well with Airtable. It's just, hey, hook up and connect your APIs in the way you want them to. Softer, on the other hand, if you take a look at their templates, it's not just here's a bunch of website templates. It's the top use cases that you would probably think about if you're using with Airtable. Things like client portals, building internal tooling, being able to have multi-sided marketplaces or be able to have online communities. So right off the bat, you're gonna be able to save a ton of time by tapping into these existing templates. As you're building out your application, you're gonna have full control over the layout of the page and you're doing that with components that are called blocks. So we can add a block and one of the things that I really like is the ability to have both dynamic and static blocks. So any of the information that's coming from Airtable that we want to render dynamically, we're going to use dynamic blocks. But it's nice that we also have static blocks as an option. For example, when we want to build an about page, we probably don't need to have dynamic data. But it's nice that we have these blocks that we have choices as we're building out some of these more static kinds of pages. I would say the most common types of blocks when you're building an application with the dynamic features from Airtable are going to be forms, which are going to give you the ability to be able to create new records inside of Airtable. And then there are lists. And this is how we're going to be able to render data such as our grid views that we have and be able to pull multiple lines and display them. And then we also have our list details. And you can think of this as drilling into an individual record that we want to display for our users. And we can mix and match these blocks together by creating them in different combinations on the page and multiple pages that we have within our application. In many front-end applications, handling user authentication can be a nightmare. But we actually have tons of really easy to implement options inside a software. So if we look at our users table, this actually has a two-way sync with Airtable. Inside of Airtable, you can choose the table of users that you want to be able to sync. So when we talk about users, it's different than, oh, hey, the Airtable users that we have. Instead, think of a table of contacts that we could take and be able to sync them over and say, any of the people that we have in this contacts table, they have permission to access our application. And we can add users on the softer side. They can self-register. We can create them. We could create them on the Airtable side. So many possibilities when it comes to creating those users. And one of the things that I really like is we have the ability to use magic links that are generated automatically. So when you register a new user, they get a magic link. They click on that link and that automatically authenticates them. So they don't even have to use a traditional user and password. Now, of course, those are options as well that you can use a user and password, or you also have the ability if you want to use SAML and set that up or use OpenID, so different ways of handling more enterprise type authentication as well. Now, aside from just logging into the application, we also have the ability to create custom sets of permissions to control who is able to do what or see what inside of our application. So we could create a user group and I could say, I want to have a special user group just for employees because maybe employees can do certain things that our contractors can't. If that's the case, we could create this user group and give it a name. And then we could say, based on the logged in users, and we could have all the different types of properties coming from Airtable and say, if the logged in user's role is employee, then here's what they are able to do inside of the system. And so we can use these user groups and other information from our user to control the behavior of who sees what on the page. So in this case, we've got our non-logged in users who sees this menu, 
But if you're logged in, you see a different menu. And maybe we say only employees have the ability to see their profile here. So if I click on this block, we can choose our visibility settings. And by default, we see all users or logged in users, non-logged in users. And so let's say logged in users, here's where we could go ahead and say, there's that employees group. Only the employees have the ability to see that profile. There's a lot of possibilities when it comes to integrations and using softer. So there's a number of different front-end integrations, things like Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, being able to inject a map. Maybe you want to put some chat on your page with Intercom or HubSpot. You want to handle payments and checkouts and memberships. You can do that by using Stripe. And it's really easy to be able to set all of these up. Now, remember that Softer is working in conjunction with Airtable. So that means you can also be writing data into Airtable. And you can use Make or Zapier to be able to interact with the Airtable data or to be able to create new records. Maybe you want to programmatically create a new user record inside of Softer when some condition happens. And so you could do that with Make or Zapier as well. So lots of potential to be able to work with existing applications that you have to be able to push and pull data into Softer and Airtable. There's a few additional settings you'll want to be aware of, such as adding your own custom domain, you can configure SEO settings. And there's some general settings like uploading your favicon and how you want to display it on your website. Softer is completely a no-code tool, but I also like to work with no-code tools that give me flexibility in case I need to use a little bit of code. So we've got the ability with a custom code block to be able to inject JavaScript or embed things on a page. And that gives me some additional flexibility that other no-code tools don't. Now, you might have been watching this and thinking, this looks great, but is this going to take me a long time to set up? The answer is no. So we can start from a template or we can create this from scratch. Let's click on a client portal template. We'll use the template, choose Airtable as our data source. We're going to use a personal access token from Airtable and we can paste that in. And then we're going to copy this base that they create on our behalf into our Airtable account. And now this gives us the ability to put that in our workspace du jour. And from here, once that copies, we can make all the tweaks that we need to to our different tables in here, be able to add new tables and tweak the different fields that we have. And then it'll recognize the copied base that we made. We can create our application. And now, awesome, we've already spun this up. You can see we've actually checked off most of the things in our checklist because they were set up on our behalf. So we already have our users table set up. We click on users and we can see these example users. We can add new ones. We could change our user groups and be able to take a look at the different options that we have. There's pre-configured ones that we can have. Our pages are already set up for us. And this is where we can really just start tweaking those things. So how do we want this to look? Well, let's click on it and we can change our content to say what fields we want to display. And this is where the real fun begins. I hope you can see the real power that Softer brings to Airtable as a front end. You can get started for free by clicking on the link in the description below.